Hello everyone, here is teacher Frank for your weekly English lesson. How are you this week? Me, I'm fine. And every week, happy to be with you for a new lesson. So let's take a look on the lesson for this week. Okay, so what are we studying this week? So we start a new unit, unit four, all year long. Okay, so today, two parts. First, with your book page 33, we will learn together the cardinal numbers, one, two, three, and the ordinal numbers, first, second, third. And in the second part, the days and months of the year. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so we start first with something that you knew, that you know since many years, I hope so. The cardinal numbers, okay? So it's a bit uh, a complicated word, okay? Cardinal numbers, okay? So just take a look on this. One, two, three, four, five, ten thousand, one million are cardinal numbers. Okay? So here is a little exercise to practice. Okay. I I think that it will be easy. Okay, but I just want to introduce the difference between cardinal numbers and ordinal numbers. Okay, so click on pause and try to enter about these 24 numbers okay we meet just after click on pause and try your best but i think it will be a piece of cake okay see you soon oops sorry <laughs> not this way because we will we will do it together okay so one twelve five Seven, thirteen, thirteen, fifteen, three, eight, thirty, four, fifty one, six, seventeen, eleven, nine, fourteen. 55, 52, 69, 10, 22, 19, and 90. Okay, so I think that your result will be very good. Okay, so 24 on 24, I hope so. Okay, so here are the cardinal numbers. Okay, so now let's take a look on the ordinal numbers. These are ordinal numbers. Okay, so you can open your book, page 33. It's a cardinal numbers, 33, okay? So now you will repeat after me, these ordinal numbers. Okay, so take a look on your book or on the screen, and we go. The first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, the ninth, the tenth, the eleventh, the twelfth, the thirteenth, the 14th, the 15th, the 16th, the 17th, the 18th, the 19th, the 12th, 20th, sorry, teacher Frank, 20th, the 21st, be careful, the 22nd, the 23rd and now we restart as previously the 24th the 25th the 26th 
the 27th, the 28th, the 29th, the, the 13th. <laughs> Not so easy. The 31st. Okay? So, first, when you start to want to make a sentence on to say something, first. Okay, so ordinal number because first, second, third. Okay, so take a look on that. First, second, third, fourth. Okay, so be careful, TH, with your tongue. The tongue must touch your two front teeth here. And just like a snake, fast, like this, fifth, fourth, third. Okay, so you must try it because it's not a common consonant, okay? A common sound, by the way. Okay, now take a look on the 21st. Okay, so 20, 20th, okay? 21st, 22nd, 23rd. So after that, every time it will be first, second, third, like 31st, 32nd, 33rd, okay? Next, 41st, 42nd, 43rd. Every time the same, every time the same, okay? So it's not so difficult. It will be just a bit difficult with the pronunciation, okay? Because you must practice and train yourself with the sound th, the, the, the ball, the bass, uh, I don't know, the computer, okay? And here it's the same sound, fourth, fifth, sixth. Every time you have th, your tongue just stick a bit with your two front teeth and go back, okay? Just a little bit. Okay, so just take a look on that. These are ordinal numbers, okay? So you must learn that perfectly. Take a look on first, second, third, fourth. First, when you want to write it, you must use the one, number one, and ST. Second, number two, and ND. Third, number three, and RD. And after that, it's TH every time, okay? So nothing complicated, nothing difficult, only first, second, third, and after you can work, okay? When you finish with that TH again, we continue. Okay, so here is a little exercise to practice what we learned. Okay, so first I want to show you something, two ways to count with your fingers, okay? Because you have some people that count like this, one, two, three, okay? And other people will count like one, two, and I have some difficulties to do it because like this, three, because I don't count like this. For me, it's one, two, three, but for many people, oops, it's three like this. Okay, so be careful about this and choose the, the way to count the easiest way for you. <laughs> okay, for me, the easiest way is the three like this. Okay, so now let's take a look on the screen. Okay, so cardinal and ordinal numbers. So change the following cardinal numbers into ordinal numbers. So here you have two examples, okay? So four, four. And after that, you must practice by writing it, okay? To write it, okay? So you can click on pause. If you want, you can take a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil and try to do that. It will be fast, okay? But try to write too, it's important, okay? So click on pause, try this. And just after we meet for the answer. <laughs> Many answers, yes. Okay. Okay, here are the answers, okay? So cardinal number four, ordinal numbers, uh, ordinal number, sorry, fourth, 
One, first. Five, fifth. Eight, eighth. Two, second. Three, third. Nine, ninth. Twelve, twelfth. And now about the numeric format, fifth. So you must write five plus th. Okay. We third, we saw it previously. Uh, once a three, sorry, and rd. Second, a two and nd. First, one plus st. And 31st, you write 31 plus st, and it's 31st. Okay? We continue? Yes. Okay, so now you can count with cardinal numbers and ordinal numbers. And I think that you understood clearly that it's different. The way is different. Okay? So now let's take a look on the days of the week. Okay, so here I think it's a, it's a review because you know it already and about the months, I think so too. But let's practice together. It's a good introduction. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, in order, you start with Monday and you finish with Sunday, obviously. Okay. Now with the month, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, so I think you knew that already. Okay, so make a review. It's good to refresh a bit the brain uh, with that. Okay, and next week, of course, we will go further with that and ordinal, cardinal numbers and new things too. Okay, we finished the lesson with that. So first, good job, okay? So it's not so difficult. Huh? You, you just have to practice a bit here, not too much things. Next week, I will have new things okay take care of you take care of your family and see you next week bye